Uh, 13 after 8, hmm, you're feeling just a little bit peckish, then this is perfect timing. Breakfast? Come and get it with Peter. G'day. Russell. G'day. Clark. Uh, Mr. Russell Clark, how are you, sir? Mate, I'm particularly uh, well, I'm bubbling on last night's grog. <laughs> Well done. Excellent. <laughs> There's nothing well, like a bit of honesty at this time of the morning. Especially on a Tuesday morning. <laughs> now, um, uh, with that in mind, what are you going to, uh, to make for us today to help us with our hangovers? Well, somebody said to me, you never talk about desserts. And I thought, well then, desserts are... Apart from making it very boring, apart from that, I thought they're also very difficult to make, but they're not if you run down to the shop and buy... Uh, a swag of ice cream, mm-hmm. take it home, let it melt, and then just dribble in some honey to it or some chopped fruit or your old grandmother's toenails, if you like. <laughs> Mix that all together, pop it back in the freezer, and then when your guests come, serve it to them so you made it yourself. So it refreezes okay, does it? Bloody oath it does. Of course it does. Mm, okay, well, I just know that sometimes Same as might... you, you know, stick your dick in the freezer, it'll freeze, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anything freezes, I think. Yeah, I know, but you know... It's... Some of it goes brown. If you put a... Uh, or black even, so you've got to be very, very careful. Yeah. If, if you put your dick in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, but do, well, you that's could a very have... Good, that's a very good point. So, so that... that so that's that's the uh, the dessert that you that you go that's for if the, you're on a budget. Th- that's exactly right. Well, I was told that I had to be quick today, and I thought, well, that's as quick as I can possibly <laughs> be. If it's a cold day and you're thinking, why am I serving cold ice cream? You could serve it beside what I call a Chinaman's dick. That's a banana, which you slice long ways, and just cook that in some butter. Don't cook it in oil. Cook it in in butter. Uh, but don't overcook it so it goes sloppy like yourself in the morning. This has got to be just firm, right? And you serve that hot uh, banana with the cold ice cream and it is truly delicious. People will applaud you. Mm. Oh, Peter Russell Clark. Which hasn't happened to me for years. <laughs> How about that? Hey! There we go, Peter Russell Clark. It turns out that you're not a big fan of wind farms. Who's told you that? Oh, I saw I saw a little advertisement that you did to, to, to illustrate that point. Well, that's actually true. Um, the thing is, with wind farms, they don't they don't produce much electricity. You need coal fire to to get enough electricity to to get them to work. Plus, uh, they look ugly on the landscape. Someone said to me they like the look of them, and I said, well, that's like saying you like the look of a Ferrari. That's terrific, but you don't want to drive it around your house all bloody day and night. (laughs) I don't like wind farms. I don't like wind at all. (laughs) And that ice cream will give you wind if you put... Well, if you put potatoes in it, and you could have potato ice cream, I suppose. (laughs) In fact, you could stir a cup of tea into it. Because the Chinese have green tea ice cream. Uh, Mr. Mm. Russell Clark, we love you dearly. We'll catch you in a couple of weeks' time. Ni Ma, which is g'day in Chinese, and Adoji Joy Gin. See, it's not only Rudd, bugger him. Yeah. <laughs> You should be. You should be at the twenty twenty this weekend. Exactly right. Off they must have idea. lost my invitation. <laughs> F- them, is what I say. Like that Marika, I thought she was very, very funny uh, last week when we were talking about the salad mm-hmm. and whether that certain actress should have some. She said, no, fuck, i let her get her own salad. <laughs> and I thought, that's quite right. Yeah, she's right. Lisa McKeon's not going to the 2020, is she? Not that we know, anyway. Mm-hmm. Peter russell Clark. we'll catch you next time. Uru for now. Robbie, Marik and the Doctor on Triple J.